Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisarga Kadam and today we are going to look at how can we upload a custom package on UiPath AI Fabric. Yes, finally the time has come. A uh, lot of people ask me about uploading a custom package and the process to follow that on the comment section. So I thought let's create this video. Now in order to go through all the process, first of all we will navigate to our UiPath AI Fabric and we will create a project. Now before we create a project, we need to do, we need to check whether we are following all the correct norms to upload a custom package. For that, I will navigate to this link. Uh, I will add this link in the caption below of the YouTube video. So you can navigate to this link and you can check the data. In this link, we have some guidelines for building a machine learning package for AI Fabric. So now let's navigate below. Uh, so we have a couple of information right here. However, I'm interested in, see, if you are going to build a Mojo pipeline, you can follow these guidelines and you can uh, make sure to follow this guideline and uh, upload a Mojo pipeline. However, I'm going to do a ready to serve ML model. Now, if you see simple ready to serve ML model with no training, if you don't want uh, a model, which uh, has to be trained again and again, so you don't want to train the model, you just want to upload a pre-trained model, that's it. So you follow these basic steps. All you need is a pre-trained model where you dump it in uh, using pickle method in Python. So basically you can uh, generate in any format. So uh, normally people save it in .sav format or you can have another format. So pickle uh, basically is a method which is used in Python to, to dump your uh, machine learning prediction uh, model. So you basically need one prediction model. You need this main.py file where you're going to pass all this information and your predict method, okay? Then you need all the requirements in the requirements.txt file. What are all the requirements that you need? And the folder structure should look kind of like this, where you have a predefined ML model. You have a machine learning.py file. I mean, sorry, main.py file for prediction class and requirements.txt. However, I am going to upload a model. Oh, we did not discuss about the use case yet, right? So the use case here, which I'm going to, uh, you know, think about is, uh, let's say I have a car showroom, okay, and I'm, I'm, I have, let's say, uh, some big car showroom where a lot of people come on the daily basis. Now, if you might have visited any showroom or any shopping center, you might, you might know when you do billing part or when you are checking out or when as soon as you enter, you have to enter some of the feedback for the showroom, right? So when you enter the feedback, that feedback gives the particular showroom analytics, whether this particular customer will visit in future again or not based on the feedback given from the customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict the future, whether this particular customer is going to visit the showroom again for purchase of the car or not. So based on the train data, so I have, I have a lot of, uh, you know, pre historical data, which I captured, uh, and I trained my model based on that information. Now, and, and I have created a trainable model, retrainable model. So I need to follow these steps. So I will jump on this one, simple to read, ready to serve model with the training enabled. So I need a doubt SAV file, you need main.py, requirements.txt, similar thing as above. However, this time I need a train.py, which is going to retrain my model over the period of time. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's start uploading all these models to our AI fabric component. So first of all, we'll go ahead and create a project where we will give a name as showroom feedback okay and what we are going to do is uh, we are going to give some project description also so this is uh, kind of like uh, you know predicting whether customer will visit again in future or not something like this okay or we can just say predicting whether client will visit in future okay now we are going to just go ahead and create this project. The first thing that we are going to do is click on ML package. And now we need to upload a zip file. Now, as I've told you, we need this entire data uh, in our project tree in a zip file, in a final folder package structure. So that being said, we need to upload a zip file. Let's navigate to the folder structure and let's see what we have here. So I have a showroom feedback machine learning model right here. Now I have created the similar structure as what UiPath expects. 
So the first thing is a main.py file. I'm just going to go ahead and open, open it with uh, Visual Studio Code so that you can have a better look at the code. Let it open. So I use Visual Studio Code basically because it's, it's a better IDE. I don't want this one. Okay. So this is my main.py file where I have a predict class where uh, I am going to go ahead and upload the JSON dump model here so that it can go ahead and predict from the JSON dump, which is in the model. Okay. Now, once uh, you upload this main.py file, as I've already told you that uh, I'm going to use a retrainable program. So, I mean, retrainable machine learning model. So I should have a train.py file also, which I already have here. This time I'm just going to open it with idle so that we don't have overhead of opening again and again with Visual Studio. So let's just open it and So this is the retrain model, which is a train. It should be there in your uh, project folder structure. Now requirements. So what are all the machine learning uh, libraries we need? Pandas, NumPy, Transformers. Scikit-learn is the one of the most important thing. Okay, so these are all the machine learning requirements. I mean models which we need. Let's navigate to the uh, library. So this is a pre-trained model where we have PyTorch model bin. So this is in dot bin format. So as, as I've told you already, the model could be in any format. It could be in SAV or dot bin or any format. So we have the predefined model also. Uh, once you create this entire structure, let's navigate back and let's create a zip file of that. Now this zip file is almost one GB is because the model is too heavy to upload, right? Uh, that's okay no matter uh, how much the file size or the folder structure size of your model is. Let's go ahead and let's create the package. So the package name I'm going to give is again, customer, sorry, showroom feedback. Upload package, I'm going to just go ahead and, so this is AI fabric. I have a couple of data right here. So out of this, In model, I have this showroom feedback, right? I'm just going to click on this one. And it's going to upload. And we will click on the package description. So the package description is uh, predicting whether customer will visit in future again or not. Input type is going to be JSON. That's, that's okay. Uh, that we are not going to change. Input description is going to be you know, feedback, which is uh, customer feedback. Okay. Output description is going to be the prediction. Uh, whether customer will visit again in future, which is in yes or no. This is how I have trained my model. It will just say yes or no. The language which you can select is right here. You can select Python, uh, Python 3.6, Python 3.7. If your workflow, I mean, if your machine learning code is in uh, either one of this, or if you are uh, if you are uploading Mojo pipeline, I'm just uploading Python 3.6 is because I have a Python you know, 3.6 model, as you can see on my screen. And I'm just going to enable the training is because my model is a retrainable model. That's it. That being said, I'm just going to go ahead and click on create. That's going to create a new package now. And now it, it will take some time just to create the package. We will wait for some time. Uh, in the meantime, I will just pause the video so that we don't uh, spend a uh, more amount of time just waiting for this to be getting done. Now, as you can see on screen, the package is being done. So once you upload the package, once the package is uploaded completely, it will show you the status as undeployed. However, in my case, it is showing you deployed is because I have created the skill already. Now, uh, let me let me walk you through how to create a skill before I go further. So once you upload a package, it will show you the status as undeployed. Let's navigate to ML skill. I have already created one of the skill, okay, which is now available in my orchestrator. If you need to create a skill, you just need to click on create new. You need to enter the skill name. So you can just say showroom. Uh, that's it. Choose a package, choose the measure version. What are the version that you have of your package and the minor version zero. 
and then I'm just going to get give some type of skill description. It's not needed. It's not mandatory. As I don't have a uh, you know enterprise edition, I have enterprise trial edition, so I don't have a GPU. I will not enable the GPU right now, and I will simply say create. That's it. That is the only thing which you have to uh, do in order to create an ML skill. That also takes a huge amount of time, and that's why I just walked you through how to create ML skill. Now, once you create ML skill, this is available. Now we need to create a pipeline, which is going to be a full pipeline for our data. So full pipeline, we can just say simply choose a package is because we are cre creating a retrainable model. We will select the package major version, minor version, input data. Now what is the input data? There's no input data which we have created, right? So let's navigate to data set. We will say create new folder. We will just give it a name as a uh, training set. Okay. Or you can just say test set. Sorry, it's going to be training set. It's because we are going to retrain the model, right? So this is a retraining folder. Just create one. Let's navigate to pipeline. Let's say create new. Again, the full pipeline, showing feedback, versions, and choose a database. Now this is a database, evaluation data set. So you need to create a test data set for the evaluation. So again, you need to go back and we need to create that one. Now why I'm going back and forth is because you need to understand each and every step. What all things do we need exactly? I'm just going to say create new and this, this is what I'm going to say uh, in a test set. This is, this is what it is going to be evaluated based on. So this is a testing. It will create a CSV file inside that whenever you go ahead and you create a, you upload any file into this particular folder. So the file pipeline is going to execute on a specific time wherever you mention it. Now full pipeline, again, we'll enter all the stuff again, going back and forth. So we'll do that, we'll select this one. So the input data set is going to be the training and the evaluation data set is going to be test set. That's about it. Now when you need to execute it, so we don't enable GPU, I need a recurring, recurring when. So choose, click to choose. Now I need every Monday, at let's say, so in the night, let's say 12 a.m. Okay, I want it to execute and that's it, done. And I will just simply say create. So now my full pipeline has been created, which is scheduled uh, at the specific time. Now, as you can see on screen, I have created a full pipeline for rerunning, I mean, retraining the bot. ML skill is already available. And in the orchestrator, now let's go ahead and have a look at the ML skill. So I'll just click on AI Fabric, admin. In the admin, I have two tenants, one of which is Mr. Vikardam. So I will just navigate to orchestrator. Let's navigate to ML skill. And as you can see on screen, the package is available. There are zero predictions with the package. So let's go ahead and let's test our package whether we have accurately uploaded and created a custom package on AI Fabric. So I will begin with opening UiPath Studio. Now we have created a process, a project called as Car Showroom Feedback. And let's click on open main workflow and let's bring in a flowchart. Okay, simple flowchart. And now in order to use our AI Fabric and test it, whether it is working fine. We will go ahead and we will just go to manage packages, official, and we will simply click on, you know, ML. So we need a package which is ML services. We will install it and save it. Now, once we get this package, uh, we will get two activities, one of which is ML skill, which we need, which we need to go ahead and test our skill, whether it is perfectly fine or not. So we just need to type here ML, and you will see there's ML services, ML skill. So I'll just bring in right here, double click on it, refresh, so that your orchestrator, if your orchestrator is connected to your similar orchestrator where you have uploaded this ML skill, then only it is going to display in your drop down. Just make sure that your orchestrator is connected with the studio, right? Now, if you open, you can see the showroom feedback, which is the exact model, which is displayed right here. I'll just open it, select this one. And the similar thing which we gave in the descriptions, if you remember in the input and output, feedback given by client and output type prediction, which was yes or no. So let's go ahead and test our skills. 
So let's check first of all whether uh, if we enter, I did not like the behavior of you know um, executive. So person doesn't like the behavior of executive. That means definitely he is not going to visit. He or she is not going to visit this particular showroom again. And if you look at the output prediction is no with the confidence of 1.0. Now you would be wondering why the confidence is so accurate. Nisar, are you giving the exact string which you have trained? Maybe, but maybe not is because the bot which I trained is trained with very less amount of data. I did not uh, train huge amount of data. So that's why the confidence level is so high. If you train a bot with very high variety of data, the number of variety increases, the number of, uh, you know, uh, possibility of the prediction, uh, you know, has a frequency or wavelength here and there. So it might reduce. So let's go ahead and let's test our second string. So the second string we'll enter is, uh, I love the ambience. Oh no, it's not a restaurant, right? So I love the, uh, experience. I will recommend my friends to visit. Now let's test it with this one. This is yes. The customer will definitely visit the showroom again with the confidence level of 1.0. Now let's say, uh, I did not like the variety of, uh, you can say cars available also not the price range so customer doesn't like the variety of car available and also customer did not like the price range and definitely customer is not going to visit in future again so here you go we have successfully uploaded and created our own custom model in AI fabric and now we are also testing it and the accuracy is pretty high and pretty accurate. So there's not at all any issues in creating our own custom model. This is just a simple flow where you need to create your own custom model of machine learning and upload it in AI fabric. This is the smooth integration which your path uh, does with the studio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this bot in some good way. I'm going to create us some beautiful use case out of this one for customer showroom, for customer feedback management for the car showrooms. It could be used elsewhere. I mean, a lot of places. So it could be used in uh, your, uh, your malls, your shop, your restaurant, anywhere. You just need to change the training data set and you can use the similar model and you can use this particular car. I mean, uh, you can use this particular use case. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you like this video. So please, Subscribe, like this video and share it across your friends. Happy automation.